Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be doing something different. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have a honey locust tree. And they make these little pods that fall on the ground. And they're just a pain. You know, you step on them. They just, you know, make your yard looking unsightly. So... What I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to make a sweetener out of the pods. Not the seeds that are inside, but the outside. So let's begin. And this will be a two-day process. First thing you want to do is get a big pot of water to boil. Now these pods are really pretty sturdy and it'll be hard to get the seeds out of it which is what you want to do so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw them into a boiling pot of water as soon as it boils really well we'll throw them in there and then soak them for overnight and that'll soften up the outside so we can remove the seeds and you can hear the, the seeds inside the pod. All right, so the pod is boiling now. And I went ahead, and since they are too big, and I just have, this is the biggest pan I have that I can cook in. I have another big pan, but it's aluminum and it won't cook on my induction stovetop. So I broke these in half. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and soak them so it will easily be able to open up and get the seeds removed. Now a quick fact on these is that if you pull them off of the tree, they will be bitter. You have to wait until they fall to the ground for them to be sweet. They say that if you pick it up off the ground and take a bite out of it, it will taste sweet. If you pull it off of the tree and take a bite out of it, it is bitter. Well, since I'm going to be making sweetener out of it. I wouldn't be just eating it off of the, the ground anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and shut my heat off and then throw these in there. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and let them soak overnight so we can be able to remove the seeds real easily. So I'll be back tomorrow to finish this up. So my pods, so my honey locust pods have soaked overnight. And we are going to go ahead and take the seeds out. What you want to do is you want to take your honey locust pod and separate it lengthwise. And it should be easy to do since it's soaked. So I'm just running my thumb down along that way. Kind of hard to do with the camera in the way. And then you can see the seats. And the seeds are really not worth anything. You can't crush them up or anything. And so just go ahead and throw them away or whatever. I am going to maybe use them in some resin jewelry down the road when I ever get started in that. The other thing you can do is you remember the, the little crafts that you make with the children with gluing pinto beans on stuff you could probably use that instead of the pinto beans and as you can tell my hands are all kind of got this juicy type stuff on it that is going to be the sweetener i believe and then you go ahead and take your pods and just 
break them up and put them on the pan. You want them in small pieces. Now we're going to go ahead and dry them out. You can go ahead and put them on a pan and put them in the oven on your lowest setting, which is around, mine goes down to 175, but some go down to 150, whatever your lowest is. Because you want to dry them out. Or you can put them in the dehydrator for um, at 135 or the medium setting. And I don't know how long we dry them for till they're dried out. So I'll let you know after I dry them out. So I'll go ahead and finish that and I'll be right back. Now I still have a whole pot full of the honey locust pots to do. But I'm going to go ahead and I have a sheet pan full. I'm going to go ahead and dry those out and I will show you how to do it with this bunch. And then I'll go ahead and spend, you know, the rest of the time doing the others. Preheat your oven to the lowest setting and mine is 170. All right, so put your cut up honey locust pods into a preheated oven at the lowest setting. And I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Just roast it until they're dried out. All right, so I let them roast for about 23 minutes. They are nice and crisp. I've already done so far three trays full. And I've got probably three or four more left to go. So you can go ahead and grind them into powder two different ways. The old fashioned hard way by using a pestle and mortar. Pestle and mortar. And that would take you forever. But if that's the only thing that you have, you could go ahead and do that. But as you can see, I've got just a little bit of crumbs and that's it. It would take forever. The other, thing, the other way you can do it is to use an electric coffee grinder. And you put that in. You don't want to get it too over full. This will still take a while, but it is a lot quicker. So I'll go ahead and continue doing that and I'll show you what the powder looks like. Okay, as you can see, the fine powder looks kind of like cinnamon, but unfortunately, just most of the grinding looks like sawdust. So what you do, is you could actually bake with this stuff with your cookies and your muffins and it will be fine but you don't want to put it in in your smoothies or anything like that because it will not dissolve in liquid so anything that you want to be able to not have grit you want to make sure that it's the fine powder so what they say to do is take your jar and if you had a better coffee grinder that probably would work too and then take a sieve and then just dump it in there and there you have your powder to put your smoothies and stuff. You want to keep these two separate so you can use this matter here just put it in a different jar and then use it to bake with. 
So I'll go ahead and continue until all of this is done and I'll just show you how much I made. I won't be testing it today, but I will in the next couple of days and let you know whether it's worth going to all this trouble or not. So this video today is about taking a honey locust pod and turning it into a natural sweetener. And I thought, well, what a great idea then that way you can cut back on the sugar, the honey, whatever other sweeteners, artificial sweeteners that you may use. So I went ahead and harvested the honey locust pods, got them in. I did let them sit around for a while. I don't know if that had any uh, difference in the, the outcome or whether you need to just get it and do it right away. The recipe did not say. So what I, I went ahead and followed the instructions. I let them soak overnight so it would be easy to de-seed. I de-seeded them and put them in my oven at 170 degrees to uh, dry them out. And then I went ahead and put them in my coffee grinder and ground them into what looks like sawdust. Well then after I went ahead and strained it through a sieve, I got a nice fine powder, which I was going to try at a later date. Well they say that you can go ahead and just pick it off the ground and take a bite into it and it's supposed to be sweet. So I went ahead and we tried the powder, just give it a taste test by itself without putting it in, into anything and it was bitter. So the only difference that I can think of that might have had an outcome with it being bitter is you cannot take it out of the tree. It has to fall to the ground. Well, I picked them up off the ground, but I picked them up off the ground after we had a huge windstorm. So they may not have been ready to actually be on the ground yet. That, so that might be the reason why they were not sweet. So I think this is really interesting. It's uh, easy to do. It is time consuming. But if the results were, it would be worth it. So next year, when they fall to the ground again, before a huge windstorm, I'll go ahead and harvest them and give it a try. If anybody has tried this before and and had great results, please let me know. Leave it in the comments below because I think this is really an interesting thing to try and if it works to, you know, to make your own sweetener. Thanks for uh, sticking with me on this project and I'll see you next time. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.